I see Cindy Moon rising. I see silk is on the way. Sony is making a movie about her. I see it's Freaky Friday. She was bitten by the spider that bit this guy. Now Cindy Moon is spiderized. I hear her comics are growing. On eBay, they're asking for the bloom. Hello, true believers. It's your boy, Freaky Louie, and it's free geek further. That means I give away one free key comic. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let's do this. Let's talk about Silk, baby. Yeah, Cindy Moon Silk is too legit to quit, people. Now, she was bitten by the same spider as Peter Parker. And don't let that wrist fool you. She was actually bitten on the ankle. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Here's a great one, her first appearance, kind of minor appearance there. And what's really cool, the bunker she was locked in for the ten, last 10 years was the same bunker they used in the Keenan Black storyline. That's where Eddie put uh, Dylan in. So, yeah, 616, Rebel. Uh, here's a great one for third appearance. Nice black, clad, black cat slashing it up there. Uh, here's, I believe, her first cover appearance here. She's right up there. So, awesome possum. Here's her first solo title. Yeah, man. And what's really neat is her webbing comes out of her fingertips, so she makes her own costumes. Pretty legit, right? Cosplayers love it. <laughs> Here's a great ASM 300 swipey. Cover swiper, don't swipe me. Come on. <laughs> and she actually dated uh, Human Torch, which I was not very happy with. I'm like, yucky, get away from that dude. I'm sure he's got the herbs. <laughs> and I just really wanted her and Peter to get together cause, because of the spider that bit them. It kind of gave them a strong connection together. So I was like, man, I really wanted them. Now, most of her storyline, she was trying to find her parents uh, because she was locked away for 10 years, went home, they were gone. Uh, she also worked for S.H.I.E.L.D. undercover to try to take down Black Cat. So a lot of cool stuff going on with this girl. The evil version of her from Spider-Gwen's universe came to our universe and uh, did some bad things. So she got in trouble. She got arrested for it. It's like, it wasn't me. And a really cool Spider-Woman storyline here. First time Spider-Woman, Silk, and Spider-Gwen teamed up together. And uh, here's a great one with that evil version of Cindy Moon. Here's a great fun fact. Cindy Moon, the evil version, was the one that actually created Spider-Gwen. Boom! <laughs> the more you know. Uh, cool Spider-Fly effect issue here. This is when they won't, they, uh, Peter and Cindy went back in time. And they were trying to make sure that they're... They're, they got bit by the spider so they can have their powers. And then Uncle Ben ran into them. He's like, Peter, I can help you. Don't worry. He stepped on the spider that was supposed to bite them. He's like, I got you, Pete. <laughs> How funny was that? Uh, here's another great one. The first time Spidey and Silk got uh, teamed up on her uh, issue here. And Felicia's like, nope, not having it, y'all. <laughs> so really, really cool. This is probably my favorite Silk drawing here. Look at that. Look at the crazy detail. Muscles and all. Gotta love it. Now, she is part of the Agents of Atlas, which is mostly Asian superheroes, even Luna Snow there. I was so happy that she finally got a cover appearance on ASM. I was like, yes, she deserves all the things. And then again, with all the Spider family here. Really, really cool. Gotta love it. Even got Anya Corazon Spider Girl and Spider Woman's new costume, which is way better than the last one. And only the real can hear this cover. <laughs> Yeah, of course, that takes me on to my con adventure. Yeah, so my biggest crush growing up uh, was Jewel State. She was on Are You Afraid of the Dark, um, Flash Forward, which is a cool Disney show, and then most people know her from Firefly. Dude, this was my first celebrity I took a picture with. I was crazy happy, and I was just like, oh my god, meeting your crushes is everything people trust. <laughs> and of course, that takes me on to my... YouTube shout out, yeah. So this awesome lady, Tessa is a nerd, is great. She's got an awesome YouTube, great channels on there. Uh, awesome Instagram, always posting great stuff. And she is something else. Definitely needs more subs on there. Come on, people, let's do this for her. Tessa is a nerd, yeah. And of course, that takes us on to the winner of last week's Free Key Further. This awesome, amazing Spider-Man number three, third appearance of Silk here goes to 
Lumberjack Pops. Yeah, congratulations, brother. And I'll let my winners know that you guys are all getting AOKs, man, this month. So look out for them. Congratulations, Lumberjack Pops. And of course, that takes us on to next week's Freaky Friday comic. It's a Gwenpool episode. Yeah, I love me some Gwenpool. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> yeah, everybody. So I can't wait to see you guys. Nuff said.